My name is Ken Prohoda. I'm in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry here at the University of Oregon. I'm also the director of the Institute of Molecular Biology. My lab studies uh, the cell biology of stem cells and how they um, divide to differentiate. One of the things that we wanted to try to understand is how um, we evolved to be multicellular. Our bodies contain many millions of cells, but if we look back in evolutionary time, we know that our ancestor w was a single cell organism. And one reason that the unicellular to multicellular transition is so interesting is that um, we can think of, of many disease states as a reversion of, of this function. Cancer, for example, is very interesting in this respect because right now all of the cells in our body are cooperating. In disease states, often what happens is some of our cells will start uh, misbehaving and no longer cooperating um, with, with the other cells in our body. And that, in fact, uh, in fact they start acting like they're um, unicellular once again. They no longer have any regard for the other cells in our body. That's one way to think of cancer as a reversion from the multicellular state that we're existing in now to um, a point where a cell in our body is acting like a unicellular organism.